Yo, what's good, y'all? Today's video, I heard that I'm hyped, but today's video, I'm coming to y'all with a custom uh, leaderboard and stuff like that. If you were in my Discord server, y'all would already know this video is coming out. Y'all would know. I'm telling y'all, join the Discord. Like, we, is it like bro, anyone who's watching this video who's in the Discord could let you know in the comments. The Discord is chill, you know. We just we ought to be vibing and stuff like that. We just be chilling and stuff. Plus, I I post every time I post a video and stuff like that. It's an announcement, so you always you never miss on the video. You feel what I'm saying? And plus, you just there to chill. But yeah, the links to join my uh, Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. Like I said in this video, I'm finna show you guys how to make a custom leaderboard and stuff. I've been working on this for a minute because there was one main issue I couldn't get to fix, but I was able to finally fix it. I tested it too. For anyone wondering, I I've already tested this uh, not only with the studio test with like the AIs and stuff. I've tested this with um, also some people in my Discord and stuff, so I can confirm that it should work and stuff. If any issues do arise, however, of course, just join the Discord and ping me or DM me. For or just leave a comment down below, and then we can go from there to fix it. But yeah, the re and yeah, the reason why like I already have all the scripts typed up and all that stuff is uh, what's it called? Because one, um, I've never made a custom leaderboard before. Like I literally, this is like my second time trying, and I just figured out how to do it a few hours prior to this. So I will for sure wouldn't remember everything. I more than likely would if I tried to to type this up from scratch. I more than likely would end up typing like like I missed something, forget to forget to do this, and probably just mess it up. So there's just no point in like wasting time retyping it and then messing up. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, that's why I already have to. But I will go through the entire thing. Okay, so for the custom leader, I would say first things first. You want to get you want to get your UI right. So head on over to starter GUI, insert a screen GUI, right? Insert a screen GUI, then name it leaderboard GUI, right? And also, I want you to untick reset on spawn because it it will say like, because it should be automatically ticked and stuff like or pretty much enabled and stuff like that. So I want you to just untick it. So there's no check there is no check mark in the box. Then inside of that, I want you to insert a Make sure you insert a scrolling frame, not a normal frame, but a scrolling frame. There's a difference. This, this is a scrolling frame, not a normal frame. This is the thing with the little bar on the side, so you can like scroll through and stuff like that. Because that's very essential for a leaderboard and stuff. Since you obviously have a lot of people, depending on, of course, how many people you have in your game. But yeah, though, and stuff. Then you can customize it however much you want. Name a leaderboard frame, of course. I just made mine a uh, little dark gray. And then I put a UI grid layout and stuff. This is so that uh, it automatically sorts, it automatically sorts and scales all the text labels, like all the player names and stuff like that. So it's all the same size and stuff. And then if we head on over to replicated storage, we have our remote event. Insert a remote event and then name it update event. It's called, I decided to use just one remote event because it doesn't really make sense to use two remote events. It makes sense to use one remote event and then just have it send over whether or not it's updating if a player left or if a player just joined. So and then you also want to insert a text label. You can insert the text label into the uh, frame and then edit it and so you can see like what it looks like and then drag it over to replicate a storage, right? But this is my text label. I made it gray and stuff. I named it, of course, player label text and stuff and then to the text to nothing because we're gonna change it and stuff uh, via the scripts. And then, okay, we head on over here. We have our leaderboard update script. This is the simple script that simply just sends over. It just fires the remote events. Uh, what's it called? To the local script, so that the uh the we'll say the client knows to update. Like the leaderboard will refresh in a way. It'll update, remove whoever just left, right? So when a player joins, it get it'll get all the players. They're currently in the game. It'll wait for the screen for the screen UI, of course, to load. Then it'll fire the event with join, since this is the joined function, and this is the left function, right? And it'll send over. This one sends over all the players who are currently in the server. This, however, sends only the player who just left. That's all, all you would need, right? So, so you would just insert a server script, normal script, and two server script service, and name it leaderboard updater script, right? And then that's that. And then we go over to starter player, then starter player scripts. You will insert a local script. You will name it leaderboard script, right? This, honestly, the script was much longer before. I was able to shorten it and stuff like that because a lot of stuff I didn't need. But of course, first things first, you want to uh, reference, uh, you want to you make some variables. You want to get the player label from replicated storage and stuff. Make sure your player label is in replicated storage and not server storage. 
client local uh, local scripts can access things from replicated storage but cannot access things from server storage though and then you also want to get the starter GUI and then you want to disable this disables the player list is the uh, default Roblox leader leaderboard and stuff so that disables it and of course we're getting our update event then the local player okay so when the update event like it comes onto the client and stuff and it fires and stuff it sends over the update type which pretty much means if it's a joined or left right the player either joined or left then this is the player that they sent over and stuff well player or players we'll say because if it's joined then it's sending over players and then if it's left then it's sending over just a player I should say but yeah so if it's joined we're gonna get all the text labels and stuff we're gonna go to the player get all the text labels all the children of the frame and stuff wait oh I gotta change that actually I gotta, I gotta change that name uh let's see, let's see leaderboard wait screen GUI hold on I gotta change this make sure everything matches whatever name whatever you have it named leaderboard because I had it I had it all just set to its default name as prior like like a while ago and stuff but then I uh updated I updated it of course because it just it doesn't look right to have it all like just unnamed and stuff it just doesn't look right oh damn now I got now I have to do this okay hold on let me just drag this and then just or not drag just paste it over that paste over damn I just realized so if I test it I, just, I literally just realized if I test it it literally would not have worked that is crazy okay then let me let me paste that uh, put it and then here and then yeah and we should be good I believe yeah okay we should be good I don't think there's anything update here yeah there is actually uh leader board you yeah there we go okay there we go there we go make sure make sure pretty much just make sure the names match whatever you have it named right it's pretty it's pretty simple but anyway um so yeah so if it if the update type is joined it get it gets all the text labels you currently have inside of the frame and stuff now if what's it called if the player they just sent over is uh what's it called your like your name and stuff like that then it's gonna return and the reason why it's gonna return is because if you let if you were to let this run it would pretty much duplicate your name twice because remember in the beginning we are we already have it so uh what's it called it it gets all the current players which of course is you now because you have to obviously join for a script to run and stuff right and then pretty much if it's not the player's name like other players that's not the player it'll clone the player label it'll parent it to the leaderboard frame and then it'll and then its name and text will match the player it belongs to. If it's my text label, it'll say SpyJ19, and yeah. Then in the else, then in the left with else if, when a player leaves, it gets all of the children of the leaderboard frame. And then if the uh, what's it called? If uh, what the text label's name matches the player who just left's name, then it'll destroy said text label. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Remember, all these scripts will be in the description, so you don't necessarily have to copy them down. I can go ahead and just click play, just show you guys real quick. I'm not going to run it the whole test, as I've literally tested multiple times and stuff. But yeah, though, I'm going to show you all how, like, what it looks like and stuff. There we go. Yeah. I could have, oh, yeah. I should probably move it over, like, with UI grid. But yeah. So there's my name and stuff. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's how you make a custom leaderboard and stuff. I hope this video was helpful and enjoyable. Thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing on my channel. Remember to join my Roblox group and Discord. Links can be found in the description and stuff. If you guys need any help, leave a comment down below or join the Discord and ask for help. Scripts will be in the description if you need them. And yeah, I'll see you guys.